So, yun. Since alam na natin na uh, statically determined siya, si win, we can solve for the unknown values present on this frame structure, especially this, yung reactions niya, yan usually yung unang-una natin concern eh, when we analyze structure eh. So, paano ba makuha yan? So, all we have to do is use the fact that the structure, the whole frame, is in equilibrium. So, when we say in equilibrium siya, ibig sabihin lang nun, pag nag-submission forces horizontal, vertical, and moment cut, any point, dapat equal to zero tayo. So, in equation form, ito siya, yung equations of equilibrium. So, familiar na tayo dyan, very much familiar na tayo dyan. Siguro, nine na lang natin gamitin dyan sa tatlong yan ay yung summation ng moment at any point. Say, for example, sa point D, kasi saan ba maganda mag-moment? Diba, pitin yung rule of before, saan ba maganda mag-moment if you want to uh, use this part of the equation of equilibrium? Noong ka mag-moment sa point kung saan maraming unknown, and obviously, sa point D yung maraming unknown. So, dyan tayo mag-moment. At huwag na, 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 na rin kalimutan yung sign convention. So, dito, uh, I just take uh, clockwise moments as positive. So, dapat consistent lang tayo sa sign convention natin. Dapat, uh, lahat ng clockwise moments acting on this structure, dapat, lagyan natin ang sign na positive talaga. Kasi pag di tayo naging consistent, magkakamali-mali yung sagot natin. So, yun, start na tayo. Mag-moment na tayo sa point D. Obviously, yung horizontal and vertical component na reaction, walang moment sa point D. Pero yung, yung MD, M sub D, na nag sa point D, which is a couple, obviously, may moment sa point D because that is a property of a couple. Diba ganun yung couple? Sabi sa statics, ang moment ng isang couple moment, ah, ang, ang moment ng isang couple at any point along its plane is the same lang, same magnitude lang. Ibig sabihin, ang moment ng couple na yan at this point, this point, this point, any point is the same lang sa magnitude niya acting on this point. So, ang moment niya ang couple na yan sa point D, ay MD lang din. Ano pa, ano pa yung mamomit natin sa point D? Yung apat na, 2 kN na to. And obviously, ang moment ng apat na yan, dito sa point D, ay may direction na pa-counter clockwise. So, obviously, negative lahat yan. So, ang nagkakaiba-iba na lang dyan is yung mga moment arm nila. Ito, ang moment arm niya, 0.5. Ito, ang moment arm niya is 0.5 plus 0.5, which is equal to 1. Ito, moment arm niya is 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5, which is 1.5. Lastly, ito, moment arm niya is 1, uh, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5, 0.5 equals to 2. So, in equation form, ito siya. Moment ng D, clockwise or positive. Moment ng apat sa point D is counterclockwise so negative. So, pinagsama-sama ko na lang yung, pinacrow out ko na lang yung 2 kN kasi pare-pares lang naman ang magnitude. Pero, ano lang yan. Baga, pag dinistribute mo to, yun yung mga moment nitong bawat isang 2 kN downward na to about point D. So, so pinak, ano lang, factor out lang yung point, ay ah, yung, yung 2 para lang maikli yung equation. Same lang naman yan. And ito yung moment arm ng unang point 2, ah, ito yung, ito yung moment arm ng unang 2 kN, 0.5. Ito yung moment arm ng pangalawa, 1. Ito yung moment arm ng pangatlo, 1.5. And ito yung sa huli, so, sum nila dapat, kung moment nito, may MD sa point D, tsaka yung sum ng moment nito, apat sa T, equal dapat sa 0. So, MD na lang nakawala dyan. MD is equal to 10 kN meter. So, tama naman yung units natin kasi kN yung force, mga distances natin naka meter. So, kN meter naman. So, positive siya, ibig sabihin, tama yung assumption natin dito ng direction ng moment, which is backlockwise. So, huwag natin kakalimutan indicate yung direction because moment is a vector. It has magnitude and direction. So, actually, that is one of the things na inahanap dun sa, ano, sa tanong, yung reaction sa traffic support D. So, max natin yan because what is, that is one of the answers. 
sana ba panamanap yung iba pang unknowns pwede pa natin gamitin yung isa pang equation of equilibrium sa measured force along the vertical must be equal to 0 upward positive yung sa convention natin ano na may mga vertical forces dito yung dv upward so positive yan tapos yung apat na to kailan newton downward so negative yung sum nila dapat equal to 0 again uh, pinagsama-sama ko na lang agad yung sum ng apat na to kailan newton so times 4 na lang so sana walang mali nito and again downward yung direction niya upward yung positive natin so negative yung nilagay natin dito dv naka upward so positive yung sign niya so solving for dv dv is equal to 8 kN, positive yung lumabas, so yung tama yung direction natin na upward. So don't forget the direction. And that is another reaction sa fixed support na, 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 na hinahanap sa tanong. Lastly, last equation na pwede natin gamitin, summation for horizontal equal to 0, leftward positive. Summation ng mga horizontal forces dito, equal dapat sa 0. And ang horizontal forces lang naman na nag-act dito ay yung dh. So, dh must be equal to 0 para, mag, para pag nag-sum ka uh, along the horizontal direction, 0 yung magiging sum niya. Dapat ang value ng dh ay 0 kasi pag nagkaroon ng value yan, yung dh, eh, wala namang uh, horizontal force other than dh na pwedeng mag-counter dyan sa horizontal force na yan. So, kung magkakaroon man yan ng value, Pag nag-summation ka ng horizontal, walang, walang ka-counter dyan. So, hindi magbabalance. Hindi mag-summation for horizontal zero. So, in order para maging horizontal, uh, summation horizontal forces equal to zero, dapat wala yan. Walang value yan. Walang dh meaning, but yun dapat ay equal to zero. So, max na natin yan. That is another thing na inahanap nung question. Yan yung inahanap na reaction sa the fixed support D. Eh, yung, eto, yung uh, horizontal and vertical components at pins A, B, and C. Paano kaya natin mahanap yan? Again, sabi ko kanina, yung horizontal and vertical components acting on uh, pin A, B, and C, those are actually internal forces. So, paano natin mapapalabas yung mga internal forces na yan acting on the frame? So, again, base sa inaral natin, ang method na ginagamit para mapapalabas yan, ma-analyze yung structure or frame, ay yung method of members. So, kapag, kapag frame na pinag-uusapan, we can use method of members para mapalabas yung mga internal forces acting on the frame. So, ano mga sinasabi sa method of members? Sabi lang dun, if our structure, our frame is in equilibrium, dapat each element or each member, dapat they are also in equilibrium. Ibig sabihin, summation forces horizontal, vertical, and moment. At each individual free body diagram of the members of the frame, dapat equal to zero. So, yun yung gawin natin. I-separate lang natin tong mga members na to from being connected. Kunyari, ito, separate natin to. Ito siya, mag-isa lang siya dyan. Ito, separate natin. Ito lang siya, mag-isa lang siya. Ito, i-separate din natin from being connected to the two members. So, yan yung uh, mangyayari if we will separate each of the members from being connected. Ganyan. So, since dinisconnect natin sila, may lalabas dapat dyan ng mga internal forces. Depende kung anong type ng connection meron sila. And obviously, sa point or sa pin A, sa pin A, B, and C, obviously, hinge yung connection nila. So, pag pinag-separate mo yung connection na yan, yung dalawang magka-connect na member, since hinge yung connection nila, ang lalabas na internal forces, alam natin from the table na binigay ko before, ay isang horizontal and vertical force which has equal in magnitude on these bodies but opposite in direction. So, dito may horizontal vertical na lalabas, horizontal vertical, horizontal vertical, horizontal vertical, horizontal vertical, horizontal vertical. Ngayon, this is what I want you to realize. I-check nyo itong ano, member na ito. Di ba ang mga forces na nag-act sa kanya, nasaan lang? Nandito lang, yung horizontal vertical force na ina-apply na member na ito sa kanya. Tsaka dito sa point na ito, yung horizontal vertical force na ina-apply naman ng member na ito sa kanya. So, ibig sabihin lang ito, nun, itong member na ito, may force na nag-act sa kanya in just two points. 
sa dalawang points na nag act yung mga forces dito sa isa, sa member na ito. Hindi mo may tawag tayo doon pag ganun, pag yung isang member at two points lang nag act yung mga forces na dinadala niya. Hindi mo may tawag doon. At tawag doon ay two force member, parang isa trust. And we know, mula sa mga previous discussion natin, na uh, if a member is a two force member, the only configuration of the force acting on the two points in this case, sa ends niyang member na to, ang only configuration lang niya, or yung orientation, kumbaga, nang sa ganun, masatisfy niya yung summation force horizontal, vertical, and moment equal to zero, ay dapat, ang direction niya ay along the axis of the member, or yung along the line connecting the two points kung saan sila nag-act, or pwede na rin natin sabihin na, uh, along the axis of the member since ko since overlapping naman yung line connecting this point and this point tsaka yung axis no member so ibig sabihin lang nun yung horizontal and vertical forces dito pag kinuha mo yung result na itong horizontal and vertical na yun ang result na nun which is a single force will be definitely uh, in a direction same sa direction nitong axis nitong member na to so parang ganito siya so, tawagin na lang natin yan, yung magnitude niyan, yung result at ng horizontal and vertical component ng reaction dito or ng or ng force na nag-act dito galing dito sa member na ito. Tawagin na lang natin yung magnitude niyan ay force A since nag-act naman siya dito sa pin A. And since itong pin na to or itong end na to tsaka itong end na to connected sila kanina, sineperate lang natin, may lalabas na internal forces, equal in magnitude ba at opposite in direction. So, 18 yan. And ito, again, to balance this, dapat, uh, ang magnitude nyan ay, same lang ng magnitude nito, but, uh, opposite in direction. So, that is, let's call that again, same dito sa magnitude nito, let's call that force A. Equal in magnitude as this, but opposite in direction. Para in equilibrium pa rin ito, member nito or body nito. And again, itong end na to, tsaka yung end na to, connected yan kanina, sineperate lang natin. So, ang lalabas na, so may lalabas na internal forces that has equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, kung A to, malamang, ito ay A din. Ano pa? Ito, sineperate din natin from being connected sa support. Oops. So, kung sineperate natin siya, may lalabas din na internal forces dyan. And we know, nakapag-fix ang lalabas ay dalawang forces sa isang moment. Actually, nakuha na natin yung mga magnitude na dito. Ayan. So, lagay na natin yung actual magnitude nila. Ayan. And yung correct na direction. Ano pa? Ito, yung end na to. Itong end na to, tsaka yung end na to, kanina magkakonect, pero dinisconnect natin. So, may lalabas na mga internal forces. But since, ano sila, hinge or pin connection sila, ang lalabas ay dalawang force lang, horizontal tsaka vertical. So, tawagin na lang natin yung horizontal na BH since, since horizontal force siya acting on point or pin B. So, eto yung sa kabila, may lalabas din na internal force, equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Yung vertical component ng no force dito, let's just call it PV, vertical force acting on point B and ito, yung force acting on this ay same magnitude lang dito but opposite in direction. So actually, what we have here is the free body diagram of each of the member of the frame kanina. So, dinis member lang natin sila, kung baga dinis mantle natin sila. pinag walay natin and since pinag walay natin siya, may lalabas na mga internal forces. Yun yung mga nakikita na dito na kulay red. But then again, internal forces siya, pero kung titignan mo to, for example, this is external with respect to this member kasi nga, that is a force exerted by this member to this member as well as ito. Ito ay external with respect to this kasi yan ang force na in-exert itong member na to dito sa member na to. So, ganun yung ano dyan, yung, uh, yung tawag dito. Ganun yung analysis natin dyan gana natin siya i-take. So, again, pag pinag-connect-connect mo natin, natin yan, obviously, yung mga internal forces na yan, yung mga kulay red, obviously, ma-cancel out. Kasi nga, they have same magnitude but opposite in direction. So, pag pinag mo sila, magsi-zero lang sila, ma-cancel out lang sila, mawala lang sila ulit. Parang ganito. 
Pero yun nga, dito sa tanong, we are concerned sa actual magnitude ng mga horizontal and vertical components at these three pins, pin A, pin B, pin C. So, makuha lang natin yun, yung mga horizontal and vertical components acting on those three pins. Masasold na natin, makikita na natin, makukuha na natin yung hinahanap ng tanong. So, yun, let's do this. Kunin na natin yung mga horizontal and vertical components at each pins. Pins A, pins B, and pins, uh, pin A, pin B, pin C. So, paano natin makukuha yan? Yung mga magnitude na yung mga horizontal and vertical components ng mga force acting on pin A, pin B, pin C. We just have to use the method of members. And sabi nga doon sa method of members, if the whole frame is in equilibrium, dapat each of each each of its members must be also in equilibrium. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-summation for horizontal, vertical, and moment ka dito sa member na to, equal dapat sa zero. Ganun din dito, pag nag-summation for horizontal, vertical, and moment, equal din dapat sa zero. And ganun din dito, pag nag-summation for horizontal, vertical, and moment ka dito sa member na to, dapat mag-equal yun sa zero. So, for simplicity, ang gamitin na lang muna natin para mabilis lang yung solution. Ito na lang, yung free body diagram no horizontal member na to. So, dyan tayo mag-focus sa free body diagram niya. So, so, yung body na yan, ang mga nag-aaklang ng mga forces ay itong apat na 2 kN, itong uh, force na to, galing sa 2 force member na to, and itong horizontal and vertical forces na ina-apply na itong member na to dito sa member na to. So, gamitin lang natin ulit yung tatlong equation sa equilibrium. Siguro, nine na lang natin yung summation moment is equal to zero. So, saan ba tayo maganda mag-moment dito sa free body diagram? Doon sa point kung saan maraming unknown. And obviously, that point is point B. So, doon tayo mag-moment. With the sign convention na lahat ng clockwise moments ay positive. So, ano na ba yung mga may moment sa point B? B, H, B, V, obviously, walang moment dito. 2 kN yung apat na yan, may moment dito. Ang direction ay pa-counterclockwise. So, ang sign niya dapat ay negative. Ito yung horizontal component nito. Itong force na to acting on this point A or fin A. Wala siyang moment about point B obviously kasi along the ano siya, member yung horizontal component nito. Pero yung vertical component niya, merong uh, moment dito. Ang tanong, paano natin makuha yung vertical component na yan? We need this angle. So, paano makukuha yung angle na yan? So, kung titignan mo yan dito sa original figure, para ka may, mabubu may mabubuo na triangle eh, using pin A, pin B, and pin C. May mabubuo, may mabubuo kang triangle. And this angle is actually this angle. So, paano makukuha yan? Pwede mong gamitin yung length nitong side na to. This is just 2 meters. And pwede mo rin gamitin yung length ng side na to. This is just 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 equals 1.5. So, pwede mong gamitin yung, uh, for example, tangent. Tangent ng angle na to is equal to opposite over adjacent. Makukha mo yung angle na to. So, pwede ganyan yung technique mo. Or pwede mo na lang din gawin. Kunin mo na lang tong hypotenuse na to. Pitagorean theorem mo lang sila since right triangle naman siya. Nandito yung right angle. So, paano makukha yung hypotenuse? Squared na to plus squared na to. Square root. Ang lalabas ay 2.5. So, pwede mong kunin yung angle or pwede mo na lang din gamitin yung mga sides ng mismong triangle to find the components of force A. So, since ang inahanap natin ay vertical component, so, pag vertical or y component, di ba sign ang ginagamit natin? So, ano ba yung sign ng angle na ito? Sign is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, to find the vertical component of force A, We just have to multiply force A by sine itong angle which is opposite over hypotenuse 2 over 2.5. So that is how we get the vertical component of point A times pa ng moment arm niya which is 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 which is 1.5. Yan. So ang direction ng moment niya sa point B obviously ay pa clockwise. So ang sign niya ay positive. Ito, ito yung moment nitong apat na to. Puro pa counterclockwise, that's why negative. Again, pinactor out ko na lang yung 2 kN kasi pwede na makifactor out. Itong nasa loob ng quantity, this is actually the, these are actually the moment arms. 0.5, moment arm nito. 1, moment arm nito. 1.5, moment arm nito. Ito, 2, moment arm nito. 
So, summation dapat niya mga moments na yan about point B equal to 0 according to this equation. So, moving for A, A na lang nawawala dyan. A is equal to 8.33 kN and yung nakuha natin ay positive. Ibig sabihin, tama yung assumption natin dito na direction which is compression. So, okay malito kasi yung sa trust, uh, yung nasabi ko sa trust, huwag mag-assume ka ng direction, tension dapat. So, dito kasi actually hindi na ako nag-assume Base sa tingin ko sa structure, naramdaman ko na na compression to, yung force na nag act dito. So that's why yung dinrawing ko na na direction, uh, tama na, compression agad. Pero hindi yan yung sagot. Ang kailangan natin ay yung horizontal and vertical component. Sabihin ito, horizontal at vertical component. Horizontal and vertical component. So paano makuha yung horizontal and vertical component? Edi, gamitan lang natin ulit ng sine and cosine. Pag horizontal, cosine. Pag vertical, sine. Pero, uh, gusto ko lang pansinin nyo. Kung titignan nyo ito, ito kunyari yung member na ito. If this is A, and this is also A, equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction lang, itong horizontal component nito, tsaka yung horizontal component nito, obviously equal lang as well as the vertical components. Eh, kung titignan nyo ito, tsaka ito, di ba, yung horizontal component ito, tsaka ito, equal lang din, opposite in direction lang, Gan ganun din yung vertical components, equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. But take note, this point is pin C. Ibig sabihin lang nun, yung forces acting on pin A, as well as sa pin C, parehas lang ng magnitude. Ibig sabihin, yung horizontal and vertical components, no, forces acting on pin C and pin, pin C and pin A, parehas lang. So, ibig sabihin lang na, yung horizontal, horizontal component ng force acting on pin A, tsaka yung horizontal component ng force acting on pin C, equals lang. And what is that magnitude? So, kung horizontal yun or x, we have to multiply A by cosine. Cosine nito ang angle na to is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse or 1.5 over 2.5. So, substitute, substituting the value of A, we can get that the horizontal component is 5 kN uh, force. Hindi na natin kailangan ng direction ilagay kasi ang hinahanap lang naman ay magnitude. So, yan na yung sagot. Dalawang sagot actually sa tanong. So, medyo na pabilis yung buhay natin. Kasi una, na na consider agad natin to na two force body. So, ganun yung isang technique na pwede kong i-share sa inyo. Hanapin nyo muna, baka, man, baka naman may two force body dun sa frame nyo. Kasi pag na, na napansin nyo na agad na yung member ay two force body, malaking tulong yun kasi ano, ma, may eliminate yung maraming unknown pa kayo. Kasi pwede mangyari dyan, yung force na to, gawin mo pang in terms of horizontal and vertical component. So, dami pa yung unknown mo. Unlike dito, isang ano na lang, isang unknown na lang, single force na lang. So, pwede ganun yung gamitin yung strategy when analyzing a frame. Again, same reasoning, yung vertical component ng force acting on pin A, tsaka vertical component ng force acting at pin C, yan, obviously, base dito sa drawing ko ay parehas lang. And what is that magnitude? So, y component or vertical, bumultiply lang natin siya sa sine. So, sine nito is equal to opposite over hypotenuse or 2 over 2.5. Substitute, substituting the value of A, therefore, the magnitude of the vertical component at A and C ay equal lang sa 6.67 kN force. So, max lang natin yan. Again, no need to indicate direction kasi nga, magnitude lang naman yung inahanap. Hanap na. Aha, next naman. Ito naman, kunin natin itong ano na to, vertical and horizontal component or force acting on pin B. So, pwede natin gamitin yung another equilibrium equation. Again, dito pa rin tayo sa, ano, sa horizontal member, FBD ng horizontal member na focus So, let's try to apply the next equation of equilibrium which is summation forces along the vertical direction on this FBT must be equal to 0 upward positive. So, ano-ano ba yung mga vertical forces dito? Una, yung 2 kN, 4. Tapos, yung BV na upward, 
Tapos yung Y component ng A na upward, obviously. So, kunin lang natin yung sum nun. Dapat equal yun sa 0. Again, paano kunin yung vertical component noong force acting on pin A? Again, multiply lang sa sign kapag vertical or Y component yung inaanap. Sign ng angle na to, opposite over hypotenuse, 2 over 2.5. Upward siya, so positive. Itong apat na to, puro downward, so negative. Ito upward din, so positive. Sum nila dapat equal to 0. We know the value of A, substitute mo na lang yan, BV na naman kukuha mo. BV is equal to 1.33 kN. Again, no need to indicate the direction since magnitude lang naman yung hinahanap. Next. So, yung BH, paano makuha? E di gamitin natin yung last equation of equilibrium. Summation so, force horizontal equal to 0. Ano ba yung mga horizontal force acting on this horizontal member? Again, dito pa. Dito lang tayo sa horizontal member, guys. Ha. FBD lang ng horizontal member yung uh, ginamit natin. So, yung mga horizontal forces dito, obviously, BH and yung horizontal component ng force A. And paano makuha yung horizontal component? Force A. Pag horizontal component or X component, cosine. Cosine ang angle na to, which is equal to 1.5 over 2.5. And that is directed, obviously, to the left. Ito, the right yung positive natin. So, negative to. This is to the right. So, positive. Sam nila dapat equal to 0. Substitute A. We can see that BH is equal to 5 kN force box natin. And again, no need to indicate the direction. Since magnitude lang yung hinahanap. So, okay na. Nahanap na natin yung mga horizontal and vertical components of the forces acting on pin A, B, and C. Ito sila. So, ganun lang mag-analyze ng frame. You just have to remember method of members. You just have to uh, to practice kung paano mag-separate ng mga member and ano ano yung mga lalabas na internal forces kapag sineparate mo sila. Minsan may may experience kayo na tanong ang hinahanap niya. What is the force acting on this member? Kunyari. So, ang hinahanap niya is, is yung mga actual force acting on this member lang. So, pag ganun yung tanong, kailangan yung i-indicate yung actual na uh, direction ng mga forces acting on this member. Kasi may particular member siya na ano eh, na pinapertain eh. Unlike dito sa question na to, ang hinahanap niya lang, magnitude ng horizontal and vertical forces acting on the three pins. So, medyo ingat kayo doon. Kailangan, ano, check nyo yung tanong. Check nyo mabuti ko ano yung hinahanap. Are you still looking at me?